So now in this video, we're going to use the uh, LM358 op amp again. It's a single supply op amp. We're going to use a single supply or you could use a dual supply with it. But in uh, any case, we're going to get a voltage gain of 2. So the voltage out is going to be 2 times what the voltage in. The uh, formula for this, the gain is 1 plus resistor 2 divided by resistor 1. Since they're equal value that makes the math easy, we end up with 1. 10K divided by 10K is 1. And uh, in any case, we have uh, the voltage in. We're going to set with a trim pot right there. And you can see here that we have a voltage divider. Since they're equal value, we'll have half of the uh, value at uh, the inverting input there that we have at the output. And uh, voltage in will, when it's higher, will raise the voltage until the voltage at the inverting input reaches the uh, same voltage that we have at the voltage at the non-inverting input. So you need twice the voltage at the output to achieve that. It's comparing these two voltages and trying to make them equal when you have negative feedback. So pretty straightforward. Ultimately, we don't uh, just use all the uh, power for this. Really, we use hardly any. We can attach a load to that voltage and that load will see twice the voltage that we set there, the op amp takes care of the rest. So now here is the circuit, the LM358. It's a dual op amp. There's one on this side, top left, three pins, and then one on that side, the bottom right, three pins. We have to power it, and the power supply is 10 volts right now. So pin four to ground, pin eight to the uh, VCC, the positive supply. You can see a little dot there and a little divot on top. So the uh, inverting, the non inverting input, I mean, is the uh, bottom pin right there for the op amp on the schematic it was above the uh, inverting but non inverting is actually below on the integrated circuit and we have the inverting there so inverting has a 10k to ground and it has a 10k to the output there the non inverting has the trim pot which I can adjust the voltage it's set to 0 volts and so we should have about 0 volts at the output now I have a green LED with a 1 kilo ohm resistor because green LEDs don't need a lot of current to get very bright and we're dealing with 10 volts 10 volt power supply so a 1 kilo ohm 1000 ohm resistor is plenty to uh, protect the LED and uh, we have a maximum current of 20 milliamps set to be uh, limit the current from the power supply so in case we'll zoom back and turn the power on for the uh, multimeter so I'm just setting it to voltage it's auto ranging meter I don't have to move the red probe for any measurements but high current now we're gonna just turn the uh, trim pot, turn the voltage up until the uh, green LED lights up uh, uh, fairly well right there. So we're at this point there and the main takeaway is whatever voltage we set at the trim pot, so we're close to one milliamps, there we go, two uh, milliamps, it probably is two milliamps right now. So we will uh, zoom in and look at the voltages. First we can take a look at the voltage of the trim pot there. And so I can go to any point of ground there and just touch the middle of the trim pot. And you can see 1.5 volts, which makes sense. It takes about 3 volts to get the green LED to really light up. It really starts lighting up about 2.6. But uh, with uh, 3 volts, it should light up. And uh, so there's not a lot of current flow, but they still get uh, fairly bright. So I can go right to the pin also with that. So now I'm going to go up to where the uh, resistor is right there. And there you can see. We have twice that voltage, uh, so 3.16 and uh, so 1.576. So I think that lines up pretty nicely for twice the voltage out that we have in. So of course we can turn it up and uh, same thing. So LED is pretty bright now and I will go to ground, go to the uh, output and okay this one's really nice. So we got about 4 volts, actually 8 volts is uh, close to the output limit of this op amp and uh, so we'll go down a little bit it doesn't output all the way to the positive supply and uh, so 3.1 so we expect about 6.2 approximately a little bit more than that at the output right there 6.28 in any case it, we just proved uh, multiple measurements that we have double the voltage coming out and uh, we want to make sure this particular meter we turn off and uh, if you have a power button leaving it on voltage and turning 
it off with the power button works just fine but in any case this circuit is that simple and uh, so hope you enjoyed make sure you check out one of the other videos that I'm posting to the screen click like subscribe the bell all that if you can donate to patreon that helps out the most I have links down in the description but uh, just watching helps out a ton so thanks for that I will see you in the next video